something is wrong with how we're living and something is wrong with what we've been taught. It's not a coincidence that Kanye says something about our history, he gets black balls stripped of millions of dollars, and then Kyrie Irving says the same thing a week later, he gets stripped, uh, he got to pay a half a million dollars because he tweeted something that relates to black people history. How you doing? I'm colliding. Let me ask you this. You watch, you watch sports? Basketball? What's going on with Kyrie Irving? You heard about what's going on with him? Come on, man. Kyrie Irving been in the news for the last, what, month? About the, uh, the, the tweet that he tweeted? So he tweeted, I'm gonna bring you up to speed real quick. He tweeted an old movie, right? Or an, an old documentary about uh, Hebrews to Negroes. The documentary goes into how the Negroes today in America are Hebrew Israelites. They're, real, they're really the Israelites of the Bible. So he retweeted this, and the, the powers that be came down on him because he tweeted something that related to our history. All right? So the same thing with, with Ye or Kanye West. You familiar with Kanye West? Do you know what's going on with him? Yes. You see what happened to him? Rap. What did he do? Most of his opinion, and they stripped him of everything. Yeah, they strip him of everything because he said what? That the real Jews are what? Are black. Now, what the brothers bring, don't go nowhere. What the brothers bring out in the scriptures, we, we, have to, we have to come to this in our minds at some point as a nation of people. Because when you look at our people, are you satisfied with the condition of your people right now? The condition that we live in on earth and that you watched in your many years living on the earth. Are you satisfied with the condition of your people as a whole? No, none of us are. That's why we are here today, to try to compel our people that there's something wrong. Something is wrong with how we're living, and something is wrong with what we've been taught. It's not a coincidence that Kanye says something about our history. He gets black balls stripped of millions of dollars, and then Kyrie Irving says the same thing a week later. He gets stripped, uh, he got to pay a half a million dollars because he tweeted something that relates to black people history. I want to show you something. Who are the Jews today? What do the Jews look like? Bring it out. Huh? They look like the white man. They look like the white man. Now the question is, is that biblical? No. How do you know that? Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 14. Listen to this real quick, bro. Read. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Now it says Judah morning. Now look at the paper. Look at the sign. Oh, look right here. It says Judah is in mourning. Who is Judah? Judah is the American blacks. Blacks that call themselves uh, uh, African American today, or a black man today. That's Judah. It says Judah is in mourning. Read. In the gates that are blazing. It says the gates. Gates means leadership. It says Judah's leadership is lacking. They're in mourning. Come on. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color is Judah? They are black. Now, when you examine the name Jew or Jewish, like the brother right here. If I said, if I'm, I'm coming to your house around five-ish, am I coming at five, Ivan? If I said I'm coming around five, you know black people. Black people time, I ain't gonna get there till like 5.30, 5.45, damn, this is o'clock. Right. When we say I'd be there around five-ish. So if I say I'm Jewish, what are, what are they saying when they say I'm Jewish? They're saying what? 
there are there, or is there something like a Jew, right? They're not saying that they're the Jews. Why don't they say that they are the Jews? Because when you apply that to scripture, when we read this again, read it again. Jew don't motive. The word Jew comes from the name Judah. That's where it comes from. It says Jew don't want it. Come on. In the case, they're all black. Come on. They are black. That's why they say they are Jewish or something like a Jew. Because the Jews are what? They are black. The Jews are black. I'm looking at the Jew. I mean, you're a Jew. You're not Pandemanian. You're a Jew, brother. The real Jews are black. What we got to realize is that we came here in slavery. Everything was stripped from us when we came here in slavery. Our God, our culture, our whole nationality. It was stripped from us. Do you agree? Do you agree that we lost our nationality in slavery? Your mind only goes so far. Our mind only goes so far that history has been written. Okay, I'm gonna listen. We also have an African leader who was committed genocide because he was killing every tribe in Africa. Okay. Okay. Now, if you look at it in, 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 in a different sense, if these, these crackers wouldn't have came down there and got us, uh -huh. this Nubian king or, or African king would have slaughtered every tribe. Every tribe was different. You had the sun god, the bird god. This, right. this, he killed our people. He was killing our people. Right. If the white man wouldn't have came and got us and brought him again, yeah, we hate him for that. So, but, so, but guess what? He did save us in the sense. He saved us in the sense. I'm yeah. gonna show you everything you, I'm gonna show you everything that you just said is not biblical history. Now see what you here's what you know your misconception is. The people so are the people the pe we're, we're we're so called African Americans, right? What about the people in Africa today? Are they African Americans? No. They're just Africans? What are they? They're just Africans, right? Yeah, and they don't like African Americans. You know why? Because the real, the real Africans know that we're not their people. I'm going to show you something. When after, after the uh, flood, when the Mosai flooded the earth the first time, there were three sons left, right? Who were their names? Ham, Japheth, and Shem. Give me a Bacar, give me a Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. I need a Zonderman, I want to show you something. Give me a Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. If anybody got one out here, that is a shame. Like, we don't have the tools that we need to show the people. You know it ain't in that bag. Come on, man. Nobody got a Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. You got one in your truck. All right, run and get it. He gonna run and get this book, right? I'm going to show you something. But before that, I want to show you the second part of what you just said. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, and I want verse... 15 to start with because our history is in the book this is only this is black history this is what we would call african-american history right. everything that happened to us was prophesied and i'm going to show you everything that you just said verse 15 real quick deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 but it shall come to pass so god is telling the children of israel i got a question did, is, when we read history did the most high bring the children of israel out of egypt under the hand of Moses, according to history. Did that happen? That's what the TV said. That, that that, that's what they used Charleston White, right? What's his name? Yeah. Char Charleston Hester. They used Charleston Hester to portray that image. But guess what? That did happen. The Most High did use Moses to bring us out of Egypt the first time. So now we're out of Egypt. Now read this again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which are commanding his day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so in the book right here it says that curses would befall a certain people if we didn't adhere to the word of god given to us by moses now i'm gonna show you something read verse 32 did this happen to our people read this verse 32 my sons and my daughters shall be given unto another people. So it says your sons and daughters will be given unto another people. Look at this sign. What is this called? This right here. What is this called? Yeah, read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So this is how we find out if the Bible is true or what the so-called white man has told us is true. The Bible says that the Israelites, their sons and their daughters, will be given unto another people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So it says that these people whose sons and daughters will be given to another people, 
you will see your children being ta being taken away from you, and there will be nothing you can do. It says your sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Away. In thine eyes, in your eyes, you're gonna see them be taking your children. Shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. It says you're gonna, your eyes are gonna fail, and you're gonna long for them all the day long. What does that mean? When somebody takes your children, imagine this happening to you, right? They take your children, and now what? You want your children back. You're longing for them all the day long. But can you get your children back? Why? Wow, you just. And there should be no might in thine hand. God says, the people whose children are going to be taken away because if they don't keep my commandments, somebody's going to take your children away, and there's going to be no might and no power in your hand. Now, I'm going to jump to verse 68 real quick to show you, no, 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 verse 48 real quick to show you what you just said about the white man coming to get us and he kind of saved us. Actually, he didn't save us. He did what the Most High God put in the spirit to do. Because remember, we're reading about the curses. One of the curses will be that your sons and daughters will be given to another people. Read verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. So there are more curses that I ain't hit yet, but you said that all of these curses that I just read, they're going to come upon this particular group of people and they're going to be upon you until you are destroyed. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. Chapter verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So God said because these people uh, who are the Israelites, because they did not want to serve what? Who did get? Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commands thee. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So, I know that this is seven up minute mark. Why? Because that sign says seven up minute mark. I know if I go into this plaza, I should see a business called Porn Laundry or Amigos One Stop because it's on the sign, right? Read that again. And they shall be a pussy for a sign. So God said, the curses that he put on this particular group of people, they're going to be on them for a sign. Meaning you're going to be able to look into the world and you're going to be able to determine who are those people based on the sign. What is the sign? Their sons and daughters will be given to another people. What are the signs? They will not know their nationality. You know. They will be on the bottom. This particular people are going to be the people that God put the curses upon. Read on. And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So because we didn't serve God, that's why that happened to us. Read. For the abundance of all things. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. So now God tells this, this, this particular group of people. Remember, we started with Judah. Judah is, the, is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. You got Judah with Benjamin, Levi, so on and so forth. All right? Which are black, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It says what? Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. So remember, you said that the so-called white man, they kind of saved us in a sense because the African leader over there was killing off all of the tribes. I'm going to show you the difference between the people that are here in America and the people that are on the continent of Africa that know who their forefather is. What has happened to us, we don't know who our forefather is. That's why Kanye got the flag that he got for saying that we are Jews, for saying that we are Semitic. We can't be anti-Semitic because we are Semitic. How can you be anti-black when you black? You see that? So, when we're reading this history right here, we got to understand the people or the audience that's being referenced. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. He said, therefore, because y'all broke the commandments, you want to serve your enemies. What did the people that went into slavery do when they got to America? They served their enemies. They worked the cotton field. They worked the tobacco field. They worked every kind of field there was to work until they were so-called emancipated. Now today we don't work fields, but we do work fields. I mean, we don't work the field as in the physical field, but we work in the field of IT. We work in the field of, 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 of social service. We work in the field of barbering. These, these different work, the different work that we do is a field. These brothers work in a field of washing cars. We're still serving our enemies. Why? Because as rulers of the earth at one point, 
Do rulers rule or do rulers work? Rulers rule. We were worst rulers of the earth. We're in a servile state right now. That's why we gotta go to their stores to buy food. We gotta go to their stores to buy cars. We gotta pay bills here in America. Why? Because we lost our nationality? Because we broke God's commandments. But I'm gonna show you. They did not decide on their own to come and put us in slavery. They were sent by God to put us in slavery. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Now you're going to go into slavery and you're going to serve your enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. You hear that? It says which the Lord God of heaven and earth will send against you. They didn't come up in their own mind and say, you know what? Let's take America and then let's go to Africa and put the Negroes in slavery. No. God put that in them. God says, you my chosen people, but because you broke the commandments, this is going to be your punishment. You're going to go into slavery, and you're going to work the fields and serve your enemies. Come on. In hunger. In hunger. You eat right now, right? Where you get that food from? Uh, that's the Who owns that store? Not the black man, but it's in the black man's community, right? They set up shop all over the earth in our community. And what do we do? We have to go to them for what? Read it again. In hunger. Well, we hungry. You can't go buy nothing from my store because I ain't got no store. Right. You can't go buy nothing from one of them brother stores because we don't have stores in our own community. They get grants and loans to set up businesses in our community. When they come over here, they're like, they go to the government and the government be like, okay, we want, we want to do. You want to set up shop in what neighborhood? Matter of fact, here is a hundred million dollars. Go set up shop over there. You can pay this back over time because you're going to get all that money from them Negroes anyway. They're going to buy your blunts. They're going to buy your beer. They're going to buy your peanuts. They're going to buy everything because that is a command from God. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee, in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. Now, hey, man, you got something to drink in that bag? Let me see. What you got to drink in that bag? Let me see what you got. In hunger, in hunger, you're gonna serve your enemies. And in thirst, and in thirst for your nice little drink, you're gonna serve your enemies. You got clothes on? Where you get your clothes from? From the from the who? From the so-called white man. So God says, in hunger and in thirst, and come on. And in nakedness, and in nakedness, when you want clothes, I mean, you're gonna serve your enemy. Read on. And in what? Of all things. It says in want of all things. It don't matter what you want. You want a driver's license? You got to go to your enemy. You want to be born? You got to go to your enemy in the hospital and get a birth certificate. If you want to die, you got to go to your enemy and get a death certificate. Right you want to clean your butt when you use the toilet? You got to go to him for toilet paper. You got to go to him for toothbrush, for a toothpick. Anything that you want, God says, because y'all broke my commandments, you're going to go to your enemy for that. Right. Come on. And he, and what? And he, and he, look at this sign, I mean, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Wait a minute. Who are the only people on earth? Well, let me ask you like this. Let me say it like this. Name another people on earth outside of the so-called black, native, and, and, uh, and, and Latino man that had a yoke of iron upon their neck. Who else had a yoke of iron upon their neck? You are the Jew, bro. Which, which Jews? Let me say, let, let's, let, let's break it all the way down. Which Jews had a yoke of iron upon their neck? No. The Jewish man did not have a yoke of iron upon their neck. The so-called Jewish man. They never had a yoke of iron upon their neck. If you got a cell phone, I know you got a cell phone, man. You got a smartphone. I'm going to do an experiment. I want you to go on Google. Can you use something real quick? I want you to go on Google, and I want you to Google yokes of iron. Put that in Google. 
guts of iron. Let's, 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 let's see what happens. Let's see if the technology is, is, is accurate. Hey, brother, we're doing an experiment. I want, to use, I, want, I want you to do it too. You got a cell phone, right? I want you to Google on your cell phone. Give me three minutes. I want you to Google on your cell phone yolks of iron. Go to Google and put in yolks of iron. And then let me see what comes up. Bring it over here. Let me see it real quick. Let's show iron and what comes up. Google yolks of iron. Let's see what happens. Let me see. What you got? What do you, what, what you got right there, Oz? Let me see what you got. Yolks of iron. Click on images. Click on images. Click on the images right there. All right, my bad. Go back. Go back. Yolks of iron. Hit search. One more time. What did you get? Let me see it. Come on over here, brother. We're your, we're your brothers. This is why we're here. To show you that Ye ain't crazy. To show you that Kyrie ain't crazy. This is the truth. This is why we get black, black balled and busted. Show the brother. Show him what came up when you Google Yolks of iron. What you got? Y'all got the same thing? Hit images. Hit images. Now look at that. So I'm, come here, I'm trying to listen. This right here is the truth. This is the God-given truth that we have rejected. You can Google your divine and you'll see what comes up. That's because you are the real Jews. Now, this is it. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall I serve thy enemy? God said, you will serve your enemies because he chose you, brothers. He made you kings, priests, and gods on the earth. That's what he did for you. We are his chosen people, right. but now we're at the bottom of society. He said, read, read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, Come on. which the Lord shall sin against thee, Come on. in hunger, when you want food, and in thirst, when you want water, and in nakedness, when you want clothes. You got a nice outfit for but I bet you didn't buy it from a black man, did you? Your brother, that, that's y'all brand? But guess what? Did he create the textiles? The textiles that he put his logo on it, right? You see this? Listen to me, brothers, listen. I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on, my bad. Pay attention to what's going on. He put his logo, your brother put his logo on the actual, on the actual textile, right? But who owns the textile? Who runs the textile company? Who, who, who put this cloth together, stitched it together, put it through a, 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 a cotton gin and moved it together? Who did that? The white man did that. We don't own that. I mean, listen up, I'm gonna finish this scripture, read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee, in hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. Uh -huh. and, he and, he, shall put, and he and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. It says the yokes of iron are going to be on our neck in slavery until we are destroyed. So they took the yokes of iron off our neck, right? You ain't got a yoke of iron on your neck today. You ain't got no, no yoke of iron on your neck today, right? What does that mean? You free? What does that mean? It means you free? They found another way to, uh... They found another way to enslave you. Right. Watch the bottom. Read that bottom of that piece up again. Until he has destroyed thee. So you got to pay attention to the, the Bible and you got to understand. It says the yokes of iron are going to be on our neck until he has destroyed us. So we don't have yokes of iron on our necks today. That means that what? We are destroyed. We are destroyed. Now, we don't know that we the Israelites. We don't know that we are God's chosen people. We think we black. We think we African-American and Panamanian. But that's not us. We're God's chosen people. We're the real Israelites. We are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. Now, give me the Zion and the Convey Bible Dictionary for you, bro. I'm going to read something real quick. I want Ham. I want you to understand something. Read this. Listen up, Ham. Listen up, brother. Real quick. This is the Zion and the Convey Bible Dictionary. Ham. The youngest son of Noah. He's the youngest son of Noah. This is after the flood. He's the youngest son of Noah. You believe me? You, you read the Bible before? So, you know, after the flood, eight people was left. All right, Noah had three sons. Ham is the youngest son of Noah, read. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. He was born before the flood. He came through the flood to the other side of the flood, read. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. Uh -huh. He became the progenitor. What does the progenitor mean? Progenitor. You have children? You are the progenitor of those children. You produced those children. You see what I'm saying? So Ham became the progenitor, the producer, come on, of the dark races, of the dark races. Of the dark races that are in Africa, he became the progenitor of the dark races. Now listen, 
not the Negro. Read it again. It says butt right there. No, it says not the Negroes. Read it again. He became the progenitor of the dark races, uh -huh. not the Negro. So he became the father of all dark races except the Negroes. So who do the Negroes come from then? Who do those people in America today that we call black Americans or African American, if they don't come from him, who is the producer and the father of all the dark races, where do they come from? Who's their father? Shim is their father. Shim. That's why you cannot be anti-Semitic because you are Semitic because your forefather is Shem. Right. You see that? You didn't know that? Hold on, but listen up. Read this, finish this. But the Egyptians, uh -huh. the Ethiopians, so he became the father of the Egyptians. Ham is the father of the Egyptians, the Ethiopians. Libyan, the Libyans, and Canaanite. And the Canaanites, remember, these are all African tribes. That's why the Africans over there that know their history, they know that they're him, that's why they don't deal with us like that. That's why they look at us like, man, no, 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 we don't deal with y'all. Because we are not the same people. They sold us to the, uh, they sold us into the subterranean slave trade. Where's the image at? Let me get that. Before the transatlantic slave trade, this is what happened. Have you ever heard of the subterranean slave trade? The same thing that happened right here is what just happened before. This happened before, there's something that happened before this. Before you get the transatlantic slave trade, you had the sub-Saharian slave trade. It's right there at the bottom. Where? Right there at the bottom. The dude with his hand up yeah, in the air. Right, right there at the very bottom. Which one? Point it out. One with three people right there. Point it out. Show the brother. You see that? That's the sub-Saharian slave trade. That's why our brothers think they Muslim. Because they went into slavery under the Arabs before that. Read that again. Yeah. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy. The enemies just had the so-called white man. The enemies is also the so-called uh, Africa, the so-called Arab man. They had us in slavery first, and then they made an agreement together to sell us to the so-called white man. So when you look at history, they will show us black people selling black people. That ain't happened like that, because that was the tribe of Ham. That was the seed of Ham selling the seed of Shem. We both dark. We're both dark people. I'm going to show you this. Let me ask you this. When Christ was born, right? When Christ was born, what did the angel tell uh, his father and mother to do? Get that from him. Uh, you got it? When, when he was born, what did they tell him to do? What did, what did the angel tell Joseph to do when, when Christ was born? Get him out, get him out of the spot. Right? And where did he go? He went to he went into the mountains. Watch this. I'm going to show you something, man. You, you're going to learn something today. You're Israelite. Today, we're going to learn that you God's chosen, you are God on the earth, and you got to come back to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Help us teach our people, bro. But listen to this, read. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. He said, flee into Egypt. Now, let's think about this, Ivan. We're talking about way back in the day. When you look at Israel or Jerusalem, if you remove the Suez Canal that the white man put there, because that's a man-made canal, you can push the continent back together. They separated Jerusalem from the rest of Africa. But if you, if you look at it, that now was not there. If you look on an old ancient map, if you look on an old ancient map, you won't see that canal right there. The so-called white man, they built what's called the Suez Canal and parted the land so that it looks like Jerusalem and, and, and Africa is two different countries. But here, the angel told Jesus Christ, uh, told Joseph, a black man, to take his black wife and his black son, Jesus Christ, and flee into Egypt. What color are the people in Egypt? They're black. They what? They're black. they black. So if Christ was the so-called white man, why, so first, first of all, let, let's analyze it. Why would they run into Egypt? For safety. So could he run into Egypt and be safe among black people? Oh, no. Yeah. no, no, he can't run. Look at him. You don't look nothing like us. You don't look nothing like us. So if, if Jesus Christ was, was of his people, how could Jesus Christ run and flee into Africa and hide amongst black people looking like that? Right. You can't, that, that, don't, that, that don't even make sense. That's how you know they have manipulated us. 
They turned us against each other and turned us against our God, Jesus Christ, the Black Messiah. That's right. They had us worshiping the devil for all these years. This is the mentality that we have to come out of. This is the mindset that we must return from. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.